So thank you for tuning in again. I'm Inspired Grizel, and on here we inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were created to be, that God is calling you out to be. Get content on love, relationship, worship, just really, really pure, good and inspiring content on here and a few DIYs. Thank you so much for all our returning subscribers. God bless you richly. And if you're yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. So for today's topic, on today's discussion, right, that I want to share with us today, each and every one of us, we have dreams, right? There's a dream. Everyone, every human being on planet Earth, you should have a dream. There is something you want to achieve. There is something you've been called to achieve. But each and every one of us, we have dreams. And the interesting thing is, even though some dreams could look as if they are out of place, but yet if you are a child of God, and as a child of God, the dreams that God has put in your heart, he will bring it to pass. I promise you he will so long as you stay aligned and let him guide you through the process of bringing this dream to realization okay so yes having a dream is beautiful is one of those things that pushes you to you know to keep striving and striving right having a dream or a vision or passion whatever you call it but in today's topic we'll just call it a dream but again it could be your passion it could be a vision it could just be purpose what you've been called out to do right so we are doing a Christian book review by Jerry Savell. Yes, Jerry Savell. I've listened, I follow his daughter and, and I've been listening to his messages and just reading from him is really, really a blessing to me. And why? Because I'm one of those people that I feel like I do a lot of things and people feel like, oh, she's doing this and that, that, that. Maybe because I'm a dreamer, maybe because I believe that there is so much in me that I need to put out there, right? So on today, this book is all about don't let your dreams go. And that is truly a message I want to bring to somebody. It's a book review, but it's an encouragement to please don't let your dreams go. Hold on to them and keep working them out and they will come to pass. So in this book, Jerry Savile was just encouraging us and he began by telling us to catch the spirit of revival. Yes, you'll be wondering, this is a dream, but why are we talking about the spirit of revival? Because there are some dreams that have just gotten dormant because we didn't see things manifesting or because we just lost hope, we lost the fire for it and it died. And what is the beginning part of not letting your dreams go is to catch the spirit of revival be renewed afresh if you had departed and strayed away you come back to a place of repentance and ask god to reignite you again to ignite the fire within you and this can only happen in the presence of god and it's so beautiful that even though this is some talking about dreams he always he goes back of course he's a pastor but he goes back in the bible and uses the verses that you wouldn't even imagine to to bring out the point and one of the ways to catch the fire is to understand that in the presence of god there is fullness of joy and with joy we draw you and i we pull things out from the wells there's so much god has put in us but we bring it to realization when we are joyful that is how we call them to manifestation when we live in joy when we operate in joy right so that's one of the ways right and he says you catch it back so bring back joy let joy come back alive all right and he says the next thing is are you on fire where is your hunger where is your hunger bring back the hunger ignite the passion when someone is truly hungry they go out for food so that dream be hungry to see it come to pass let hunger come alive for the things of God let God come alive for what God is calling you to do let come hunger come alive it says uh, David was speaking in Psalms he says my soul tested after you let the hunger and thirst for that vision let it come back alive and then the next thing is be aggressive, not in a wrong way, not in a rude way, but be aggressive, be pushful, push to see this dream come alive. Pray this dream to fruition, pray it to fruition, push, meet the right people. If it's a business deal or a contract to do some certain things, go to the right people, keep pushing, keep knocking on that door until it opens. So long as the dream is, is in the will of God, right? Keep pushing. And yeah, we are talking about godly dreams and godly visions and godly passions and all that. So be aggressive. Don't give up. Things will not look like it, but you don't have to give up. We do not give up. Yes, we don't give up. You will fall. You will wake up. You will try and fail, but you will keep on. And that is why after the 99 times, 
there will be an invention of course you wouldn't take up to that but I'm telling you that you don't give up when you're chasing your dream when you're chasing passion when you're chasing vision there are people that have loved music and and they kept singing in different places and just one door things open for them to the glory of God because God will use you he will use you and that dream every dream given from God it never dies that is what you have to know so please don't give up keep pushing right and he mentioned here that God does not abort dreams he gave you the dream he will not kill it Moses came because there was a purpose for Moses to fulfill so his destiny could not be aborted because Pharaoh didn't, Pharaoh didn't want to see male children no 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 that dream that Moses had to fulfill could not be aborted so yours won't be all right the next thing is you have to grip it tightly once you figured it out and and you reignited it and you know that okay this is this is what I want to do you hold on to it you hold on to it hold it tight like Abraham God had told him that your descendants would be as a stars on the seashore and and he was he was looking as if it's not gonna happen it'll be like the Sun on the seashore and the stars in the sky but he held on to it. The Bible says in Romans that he hoped against hope. He did not look at the deadness of his own body, but he considered God faithful. And the Bible says, faithful is he that has called it you and he will do it. So God that gave you the dream will do it. Don't give up on your dream. Hold it tight. And one thing to note here is that there are two things that the enemy will want to use to make you to give up on your dream. And the first one is, one of the things that make people to want to give up on their dreams to let go is time. You look at like, oh, I started it last year up to now. The business has still not grown. I'm not having customers. So you give up. No, no, no. Time is time is just time. And time has pushed people into things that they will not do. You feel like, oh, my time to be married is out. So I just need to compromise. Time is a theft of our dreams and our passion. And another thing is people. Sometimes people will discourage you. So watch out for time. Watch out for people. But above all, I want you to understand that you can do everything through Christ that strengthens you. And this is the encouragement from this book. So with God, you can do everything. So you have what it takes, right? You have what it takes. And what does it take to fulfill your dreams? You have now he, he had to narrate a story where he was looking at Moses and the life of Moses. Remember, I already mentioned Moses, and he was showing through the life of Moses what it takes to fulfill the dream of setting the children of Israel go. And one of them was identity. When God met, when God encountered, when Moses encountered God, he was like, "Who?" And God was telling him, "I want you to go and meet my people and set them free." And Moses says, "Who am I?" So the identity you need is in Christ. And that is enough for you to fulfill purpose. The second one is authority. Moses asks, who would I say sent me? He says, they are young. So your dreams have been fulfilled on the authority of Christ. The I am, the provider. He is whatever you say he is. And much more. And the third thing is his credibility. Moses asked God, who will I tell Pharaoh is sending me? He says, tell him, I am is sending you. So the credibility of God is what will bring what we are expecting to pass. And that is a quality we have because we are sent of God. And the next one is ability. Moses was saying, I'm a stammerer. You know, I can't talk. And God touched his tongue. And he was able to do what he did. He was able, God had to send him help. And the help came through Aaron and purpose was fulfilled and that dream was achieved and the next thing was courage we see at the beginning Moses went out being you know all this timid person he had run away but as he kept going before Pharaoh he was courageous because of the backing of God so you have you need to have courage right and the first time Moses went and Pharaoh said I will not and Pharaoh threatened he went again courage came on and boldness the qualities we have we have boldness we have boldness right so ignore the breakdown noise i forgot to lock the door so boldness and another one is perseverance you have to persevere morris went over and over again and pharaoh kept saying no but at the end of the day the children of israel are set free and you and i are here today so please don't let your dreams go all right that's a christian book review from jerry Savile. don't let your dreams go and if you need this book let me have your email on my social media handles and i'll share with you so that's all i came to share with us today if this has been a blessing go ahead like share and why not subscribe to the channel god bless you